Hello, I'm Alex. I'm a filmmaker with a beard. I like hiking with my dog, skateboarding, and I have way too many electronics. Sometimes those electronics die. Oh, sure. Sometimes they break. And sometimes they get old and you just don't need them anymore. So I was really curious, where does this stuff actually go if you recycle it or throw it away? As it turns out, more than half of all electronic waste from the US is shipped to places like China, India, and Africa, where the environmental regulations are much less strict. Much of our e-waste ends up at Agbag Bloshi in Ghana. So I thought I'd do everyone a favor and bring it there myself. So, I bought a ticket to Africa, applied for a visa, got some shots, brought a skateboard that's only big enough for one foot, packed my bags, kissed my girlfriend goodbye, took my electronics through security, arrived in Ghana, ate a weird meal, and finally met up with my friend Kwame. Hello, I'm Kwame. Then we met up with Kwame's friend Kachoko, a rapper who lives in Agbag Bloshi. He agreed to show me around, and in exchange, I agreed to shoot a music video for him. way into Agbag Bloshi, which is the largest dump site for electronic waste in the world. And the area is so high in crime and pollution that it's nicknamed Sodom and Gomorrah. So I can't imagine what could possibly go wrong. Arriving at the market was unreal. I don't know if it was the jet lag, the constant smell of burnt rubber, or the 100% humidity, but I really felt like I was on another planet. This is Ghana, West Africa, where most of the products that you know more using in your various homes are brought. And when it gets here, they take some of them and they sell it. And the rest, they burn it. And the burning brings out some pollutants which affects the nozzle and the hearts of the people living around. The teenagers that work here burn the rubber and plastic in order to scrap the raw metals inside. They work long hours in extremely hazardous conditions for just a few dollars per day. The people living here are poor. We don't have any other way of surviving. The average life expectancy here is only 25 years old. Lots of these guys have no money and have no place to sleep, you know, so it's just a matter of um, life. They have to survive, you know, so human beings will do anything to survive. The next day, I brought my gadgets down to the dump site. Obviously, I just brought my electronics here as an example, but it's to prove a point that if you don't discard your electronics in a responsible way, there's a lot of places just like this where they end up. Young people are breathing in toxic fumes every day. Workers here regularly inhale lead, cadmium, dioxins, and several other chemicals that I can't even pronounce. The smoke just starts here, but as you can see, there's no real separation between this burn area and the places where people live and work. This shouldn't be a dumping place for, for such e-waste, you know. There should be a better way to do it. I mean, I think you guys are smart, you know. There's a better way to do it, so. Mogo.com. This Mogo.com. This Mogo.com.